Hey everybody, Mike Miller with the Herald Times, columnist Jeremy Price, coming to you on Selection Sunday here at Assembly Hall. Indiana's a number five seed headed into this week's NCAA tournament, where they'll draw the number 12 Chattanooga Mox uh, in the first round in Des Moines. Uh, 7 10 tip off on Thursday evening in Iowa. Uh, interesting seeding for Indiana and, and really for the entire Big Ten. Uh, pretty apparent that uh, the Big Ten really wasn't. Um, Valued as much yeah. as maybe we thought they would be going into this uh, selection Sunday this year. Um, it was quite interesting hearing from Tom Crean. Indiana had, uh, they were watching the selection show party, had uh, the Big Ten trophy with them at the center of the room, and uh, that turned out to be a pretty good thing just as a reminder of everything they'd done. Yeah, yeah, he said they had that as a, as a reminder to sort of, uh, since the committee didn't apparently think too much of the Big Ten championship, at least uh, they could look at the trophy and remind themselves of what they'd done. And it was interesting because it does appear that the NCAA committee looked at, uh, Big Ten is very top heavy and because of that didn't give a whole lot of weight to the accumulated wins because of the, the bottom half of the conference basically. So you've got Michigan State as a two seed and then you've got Indiana, Purdue, Maryland all as five seeds, Wisconsin and Iowa as seven seeds and yet Michigan somehow snuck in the field. So I guess there was a little bit of weight there after all. We talked a lot about edge going into the Big Ten tournament and what kind of edge this Indiana would Indiana team would have coming off the regular season championship. Maybe this restores a little bit of that edge going into the NCAAs. It does. I, I think it's really as frustrating or maybe disappointing as it might have been to see that five seed pop up there for the Hoosiers. I think this gives them plenty of ammunition going into the NCAA tournament, uh, plenty of reason to kind of go back to that underdog, something to prove mentality that maybe seemed to be just a little bit lacking against Michigan last week. What they've done to this point obviously didn't matter to the committee and it doesn't matter in terms of the results in this tournament and so they've got to go out and prove themselves all over again and they're going to get a chance to do that. And with that I think it, it almost seemed that there was no overlooking Chattanooga with that potential game against Kentucky looming in the second round should both uh, IU and Kentucky win. Kentucky drew uh, Stony Brook a 13 seed. Uh, so there is that kind of hanging over this program as they prepare for their opening round game against Chattanooga. But I do think that maybe this does serve them well to have this kind of renewed uh, focus and energy going into this first round. Yeah, and Chattanooga is an opponent that IU obviously can't overlook. A, a very good team uh, that's had a very good season. And we know that every year you can pretty much book at least one, if not more, of the 12 over 5 upsets. So there's no doubt Indiana is going to be well aware of the potential there. We'll be in Des Moines on Wednesday evening for open locker rooms, workouts, stuff like that. We'll have you covered from all angles. For Jeremy Price, Mike Miller, see you this week in Des Moines.